Okay, let's get into everything here. This is the Flight Factor Airbus 320 Ultimate. And I love everything about the plane. It's really nice looking. Um, we did a great job on everything in it from the looks of it here, as you can see. Very detailed, nicely. Uh, go outside. Take a look around. Good looking airplane. And if uh, some of y'all don't recognize the airport, maybe you can guess. Kind of a get a little better, a little bit better view here. We are in Dallas Fort Worth, right now sitting at gate Delta 22. And let's go back inside the plane, get things kind of started here. Scoot back in our seat here where we can see what we're doing. And the first thing we're going to need to do with this aircraft is turn on the uh, GPU and go ahead and put the chocks in place. Now, I don't know how many of you have this plane, but um, I guess you might be a little frustrated with the flight planning situation with it. Uh, I'm currently trying to figure out how to do a video on here of my regular computer screen to where I can uh, show you exactly how to load a flight plan in this unfortunately it's not like download sim brief and boom there it is unfortunately they uh, using something called court c o r t e dot i n and you have to do a copy paste situation i won't go too far into that at the moment this video here is basically just a uh, cold and dark startup. Uh, as soon as I can figure out how to do the video on the other, I will do a video on instruction on how to uh, put in the flight plan. And uh, flight factor, I'd really like to know why you did that. I have your Airbus 350-900 and you did not do that with it. So what was the good reason for that? Anyway, uh, continue on. Here we go. We have our ground power on. We have our chocks in place. And now we will go up top and get some power to this bird. And we just uh, turn on our batteries. As you can see, we've got juice here and here. And hit number one. And then hit number two. Now that brings everything up as far as that you see the lights flash up here checking things and here is our external power and we'll go ahead and turn that on because I'll light everything else up and then we want to get our uh, navs going here haters and we got them on now and then we can come down here and turn on crew supply and anything that's saying off you need to go ahead and get it turned on. So we'll whip them on and over here and we'll turn up a little bit of warmth in the cargo section. Might have grandma's puppy down there. Come on now. Make sure it's okay. And we'll throw a auto on the 
the strobes, turn the beacon on, and we will turn the nav on. And then we will hit the, uh, light up the, uh, APU and all here shortly. In the meantime, we'll take a look and see what all else is going on here. As you can see, we are starting to come to life in the plane. And we'll need to go ahead and turn up our lights on our dash instrumentation. That's a little bit of a personal preference of how bright you like them. I like them up. There we go. And then we've got them down here as well. Centers. Very good. And then we have our... Back over. Like today that we're doing is uh, going to be from Dallas Fort Worth to Kansas City, KDFWK MCI, and therefore see how much fuel we need to have in this plane. kilograms on this point. I don't have it set on pounds. So, push the call, the fuel, and request. Get the, okay, come on now, do your thing. There. And we said we needed 6503, so we need to drop this down. And that's close enough to perfect. We'll set it and get it. And you can do passengers and you can do your cargo. You can set it where you want it at. And then here's your perf data. And you can come over here and take a look at our cabin status here. Audio, lights, doors, slides, so forth. And we're going to want to do audios. There's all looking good. Let's get some lights going in here. We want bright on right now. For the time being, there we go. Doors and slides. Well, we've got to open a door here so folks can get in. Because uh, that's really don't 
repeat all that just to start the airplane. So, let's go back up and get on with it here. Now, we'll go ahead and turn on our master. Seatbelts on. No smoking. And arm. And we'll start up our APU. Get it operating. And you can hear in the background there, hopefully, the uh, APU door opening and starting to do its thing. Go to the screen here and show you. Flap is open. Getting everything going. Okay, APU is now available, so now we'll go back up top, and we can activate it right here in APU bleed. Turn that on. And everything's still aligning here, as you can see. is going 
do that, you would take and turn this knob to the right to start, and then you see the screen just change to your engine, and then uh, start your number one engine, and then get your number two engine after it says it's available on here, and then you're good to go. It looks like a uh, we finally got a line here, initializing weights at the moment. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a little bit of a slow process there, but it eventually gets it. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope this video helps you some. And uh, next video I'll do, I'll do on the uh, MCDU on this aircraft. And Hopefully at the same time I'll figure out how to uh, show you how to input a flight plan uh, on here. Alright, thank you. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and see what else is coming up, especially the other videos on this. And uh, if you like the video, hit that like button for me. Alright, thank you very much.